Now using a rig with an iPhone has a different experience than just using an iPhone. When you're filming with an iPhone, it's a bit more casual as if you are filming like home videos or whatever. But when you're filming with a cage, it has more of a, a professional kind of experience, almost as if like you're using a gimbal to film a scene. And also with this particular cage, uh, it almost feels like the, the video looks a lot more smooth and stable versus just holding the phone in your hands. And the stabilization on the iPhone 12 Pro is good enough as it is, but I feel like the footage is a lot more stable when you are holding a, a camera with a cage like this. Now, the thing with the iPhone 12 Pro is that it's, well, it's very scratchable, apparently. Uh, even on the sides, like, it just kind of wears off, even though it's a very expensive phone. And so, whenever I'm filming, I just put a case on it. I got this off Amazon, uh, and that way, this prevents the phone from being scratched and messed up whenever I put this on the rig. So, anyway, here we go. Let's go start filming. Ah. Look at that. Look how easy it was to put it on. All right, so now we're on iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, <laughs> you know what's weird? I used to feel awkward vlogging with a camera and a microphone and a stick. People got used to that over the years, but now I'm vlogging with an iPhone and a cage and some accessories over it. So now I feel just as awkward as I did years ago. <laughs> so filming on the iPhone 12 Pro is still very limited. I mean, you're dealing with a tiny sensor and you're still dealing with a phone. So I found that filming in golden hour is the best time to film iPhone content because uh, the lighting is still really good. The lighting is soft. If you're filming midday, the lighting is very harsh. doesn't look too pleasing on people. And so if you wanna give yourself the best possible chance to film really good looking videos, on an iPhone, just make sure that wherever you are, the lighting is good and the lighting is soft. All right, let's go. Let's go film some stuff and be awkward. Now, pro tip, if you are filming with an iPhone, you want to make sure that you set the auto exposure, auto focus locked on. Otherwise, the phone is going to just try to auto expose for you and it's just going to look all weird. So whenever you are filming, you want to make sure you keep that exposure constant. And the way to do that is to tap and hold on the iPhone screen for about a second or two seconds. Wait till you see the auto exposure, auto focus sign. And then what I do is I try to lower the exposure just by a little bit. Now the cool thing about attaching a light on this cage is that you can actually light your subject if it's a little too dark. Like the light is on right now. This is the Aperture MC. It's on at 100% intensity. Now I'm going to turn it off. All right, now it's off. I'm gonna turn it back on. There we go, and now the light is on. So definitely not perfect, but definitely a cool solution if you wanna light up your subject. Ah, oh, people are looking, people are looking. All right, let's talk about the cage for a little bit. Now, there are two cold shoe mounts uh, at the top part of the cage so you can attach things like a mic or a light like you see here but what's really cool about this cage is that there are quarter 20 threads all around the cage so here in the bottom you see I attached a, a quick release plate but if you wanted to attach like other things too then you can use a quarter 20 mount and attach an arm to it and I don't know attach whatever you want now do I think this cage is for everybody no if you just want to use the phone as it is totally fine. But if you don't have an expensive mirrorless or DSLR camera and you just want to use your phone to film video content, then you may as well just have a cage and all these accessories attached to it so that you can film high quality cinematic videos. Oh gosh, it feels awkward holding this. Right, well that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out this cage and all these accessories that you see, then links will be down below but i'm gonna get out of here because i feel really awkward vlogging with this thing but thanks for watching thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already would love for you to be a part of this community and i will see you in the next video okay all right leave me alone